let's go on a little bit now and examine what is a function. Okay, we've looked at relations. They're simply sets of coordinate points at their most basic, x's and y's, or they can be continuous and there can be a rule or there might not be a rule. Okay, that's it. There's a relationship of sorts, but it's why, that's why it's called a relation. Now, what is a function? All right, a function is a special kind of relation. It is a relation where for each value of x which is defined, there is only one value of y possible. Now that's the bit you've got to get, okay? So now let's have a look at this. This is u. We looked at Mr. u a little bit earlier. Is this relation, it is a relation, but is it also a function? Because a function, functions are sort of subsets of relations, if you know what I'm trying to say. So can you see here, we've got x is 1 and y is 1. We've got x is 1 and y is 3. So we've got this value of x has two values of y. So this means it is not a function because when x is 1, y is either 1 or 3. Two values, not one value of y for the one value of x. Yes, so that's not a function. It is a relation, but it's not a function. Have a look at Mr. T. What do you think about that? Yes, I agree with you that is a function because there is a unique value of y for each value of x. Yeah, you're getting the hang of this? What about v? I think it is. It's also a continuous function. Not only a function, but it's a continuous function because all the values of x are on a continuum without interruption. Yeah, very good because this is the rule. This is the rule which connects x to y. All right. Now, we better have a look at types of relations. There are four types of relations, two of which are functions and two of which are not. Okay, This is one-to-one -one relation, which happens to be a function. There is a one-to-many. Now, that is not a function, it's a relation. There's also a many-to-one, which means, yes, that's a function. And I'll explain this in a minute, by the way. A many-to-many, -many, that's a relation. Now. Okay, we have a left-hand term and a right-hand term here in all this. That's very important. Okay, left-hand term, right-hand term. The left-hand term refers to the x and specifies how many values of x apply to each distinct value of y. Okay, now you'll get this uh, better as I show you examples. To find whether this term is a one or a many, we draw a horizontal line through any value of y, okay? If this horizontal line intersects once with the curve, that means that the left-hand term is a 1. If it intersects twice or more, then the left-hand term is a many, all right? The right-hand term, that's this term, or this, or this, or this, that relates to the y and specifies how many values of y apply to each distinct value of x. Now, to find whether this term is a 1 or a many, we draw a vertical line through any value of x. Okay? If this vertical line intersects once with the curve, then the right-hand term is a 1. If it intersects twice or more, then that right-hand term is a many. All right? Now, we're going to show you some examples. Look at this. This one here. Now, this is a 1 to 1. So, the, for the first term, we draw a horizontal line, okay? like that. Any horizontal line will do. If you only hit the curve once, then that left-hand term is a 1. For the right-hand term, you draw a vertical line, the vertical line test, so-called. If you only hit the curve once, then that right-hand term is a 1. If you hit it more than once, then that right-hand term is a many. Now, the right-hand term determines whether you've got a function or not. It must say one. It cannot say many. Okay, so this one and this one are functions. If you've got many on that right-hand side, no, uh, uh, that's not a function, it's a relation. Okay, now here's an example of number two. Okay, so we hit once going that away, so that's a one on the left-hand side. But look, what happens with the vertical line test? We've hit twice, so the right-hand side is many, and it's not a function. Got it? Right. Here comes number three. Now, this is an example of a many-to-one, a quadratic. So, 
horizontal line test, the left hand side tells you uh, because it hit twice, the left hand side is a many, yeah? The vertical line test, okay, only hits once, therefore the right hand side is a one, and that's a many to one, okay? That's a function, that is a function. Okay, last but not least, we're going to do a circle. Now, this is not a function, uh, 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 not, a, not a function at all. So, okay, horizontal line test hits twice, therefore left hand side is many. Vertical line test hits twice, therefore right hand side term is many. So that is a many to many, and it's not a function, okay? Just to be clear, this one and this one are functions. And you test whether something is a function by the vertical line test, okay? If it only hits once, Yes, it's a function. If it hits more than once, uh, 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 it's not. Okay? And before we leave this slide, just uh, my last sentence there. If the right-hand term is a 1, which I was just saying before, we've got a function. And if the right-hand term is a many, we've got a relation. And remember that functions are a subset of relations. A different way of specifying a function, all right? Now, some terminology. Y is called the image of x and x is called the pre-image of y. Now I've never seen that ever used in any VCAR exams or assessments so uh, this one they do, uh, this one they tend not to, okay? But it doesn't hurt you to know it anyway. Okay, now here we go. Now this says, and you should be, you should be getting used to this now, this is the set of numbers x and y such that y equals x squared. Now we can write that as this alternative way. A function such that real x's map to their real y equivalents, comma, f of x equals x squared. That's it. That's the new notation. Okay? Pretty cool, huh? Well, <laughs> I don't think it is. I don't like it, but I'm used to it, okay? Here's another one. Uh, the set of numbers, x and y such that y is 2x minus 1, but x goes from 0 to 4, okay? So this is a restricted domain of a linear function. Now, we would write that in the other alternative notation as a function, you say f, such that, that's the dot, dot, the colon, such that from 0 to 4 inclusive, that means the domain, that's the x, the restricted domain, maps to their y equivalents, and f of x is 2x minus 1. Got it? Not so bad, really. It's just a strange way of notating, I think. Okay, here's another one. The set of numbers x and y such that y equals 1 over x. We could write that as f, the function, such that real numbers with the exception of 0 map to their y equivalent reals, and f of x is 1 over x. You all just put a comma. You always just put a comma here. Okay, got it? All right, how are you going? You haven't blown a fuse yet? Good. So with this new notation, the domain is called DOMF and the range is called RANF. <laughs> oh, dear. So <laughs> I hope you went okay with that. All right, over the screen and another example just to keep our minds whirring along. What have we got? We've got f of x is 2 times x plus 1 all cubed. We have to find these thingies, okay? Well, that shouldn't be too hard for us, I wouldn't think. Let's go for it, all right? You understand what to do. This means f of minus 1 means you substitute the value minus 1 for what's in here, which is just x, okay? So they're really asking us, what is the value of this function when x is minus 1, yeah? You knew that, didn't you? So therefore, we just go like that. Uh-huh! Very, very nice. It comes out to 0. Yeah, all right, now part b... Uh, what are we asking for? F of B? Well, that'll just simply be... Okay, now, the subtlety is that you just substitute B for what was here, which was X, okay? So it'll just be 2 times B plus 1 all cubed, yes? Great! Now, what about this last one? This is uh, F of minus X minus 1. Well, same old, same old. You just substitute what's in here for the X. You get that, don't you? Good. So it's just going to be, uh, let's see, 2 times, not x, but bracket minus x minus 1, minus 1, all cubed, okay? Yeah, have a look, do you agree? Good. So it's simply just 2 times, open bracket, minus x, minus 2, 
having got rid of the internal bracket, all cubed. Pretty nice, yeah? Very, 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 very simple.